Welcome back to another video here on the Enchanted Basin. If you're new, my name is Jenny. It's nice to meet you. I like to do videos that are very witchy or Halloween oriented. I also do crafting videos, um, vegan taste tests, sometimes cook with me's, um, and then also chronic illness awareness videos. Shout out to all my fellow Spoonies out there. Um, for today's video, I am it's kind of an amalgamation of things I'm doing our weekly check-in um, I do at home all-time pottery and Bath and Body Works this time I also do some stuff at Joann's this is actually from a couple weeks ago but um, the fabric's still the same so I'll make sure and show all that video to you guys so um, let's go ahead and head to the car and get started oh my god I hate living on a hill another day another day of hunting today a couple, couple places in mind. So first, wow, there we go. Um, first, Old Town Pottery is my very first place I'm heading. Um, and then I am going to um, head to an at home. I went to one last night, actually. It was the one we, um, I found a lot of good stuff at um, a few days ago. Well, for you guys, for last week's video, um, I found all that stuff is the one at the one I went to last night um, but I wasn't expecting to find anything because I was just in the area my husband are like let's pop in let's see what we can find um, and we actually found some stuff and so all I had was my phone and then I filmed it in portrait view versus landscape and you know that's a whole goodness right there so okay so old time pottery um, at home and then um, Bath, and Bath and Body Works um, I went to one yesterday as well and um, I, again I filmed it on my phone because I wasn't really thinking and I did find some um, wallflower plugs that were Halloween oriented I got a few of the ghoul friend and pumpkin pecan waffles because those are my favorites and I'm excited to see how the ghoul friend wallflower works out um, and then I did find a little pumpkin pecan latte um, pocket back holder. So I got that. I'll insert a um, little video of that now. I've heard the ones that are um, also white barn locations tend to be having the Halloween and fall stuff out sooner. So I don't know. We'll see. Uh, the one I'm going to is in a mall. So <laughs> fun stuff. Um, but it's a really nice location. Uh, we'll see what I find. Yep, let's go. Woo, okay friends. So, I think what I'm going to do from now on when I show stuff is just go in and film it, do a voiceover, or I'll probably just talk you through. But I'm not going to go price by price on everything anymore. Unless you guys want that, comment below. Let me know what you want. Because the last video I did ended up being like 35 minutes, 36 minutes. Because I was like literally every new thing. Here's the item. Here's the price. Um, and it just made it so long. I'm happy to do it if that's what you guys want. But if you don't and you kind of just want to see like here's a general what we got going. Then that's probably what I'll do from now on. So that's what I did today. We walk in. Um... Once we get back to the section where they have all the Halloween stuff, they had um, some outdoor light gauze with like lights in it. Um, there was some like purple lights, twinkly lights, maybe some orange. Um, I think there were some that were like skeleton hands. They like came up from the ground that were lit up. There were um, a couple new things. So we had um, these. I know there was these pumpkins on like pedestals, like little jack-o'-lanterns on these little pedestals. Um, a couple different faces of that. One like skeleton dude um, sitting on top of a jack-o'-lantern, just like like very <laughs> Greek <laughs> statue pose. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to remember what all we had new because I've seen so much at this point that it all starts to run together. Well, I'll try and just continue showing stuff here. Um, I know there were also some like massive ornaments. I feel like those were, well, the last ones we saw massive ones were at, at home. There were some that were just straight orange, some were black, a lot of glittery ones, some with like orange, with 
black spider webs, white with black spider webs. There were these ones that look like they were trying to be Jack Skellington, but really didn't. They missed the mark on it. Uh, like his face looked real kind of derpy, <laughs> you know? You know, I guess you would decorate like an outdoor tree with those, or maybe you could put them in like, in like bushes, even in like a little, like fun little pedestal planter. I don't know, I'm sure there's a lot of fun possibilities with that. I found a couple of things that I wanted, so there's the, those are the, like the last few things for me that um, I really been wanting at Old Time Pottery. So honestly, I'll keep an eye out on Instagram if they're gonna show anything new. I mean, I'm sure they'll eventually do maybe some like more like Halloween wreaths um, and that kind of thing. But for now, it seems like they're kind of stagnating on what they put out. For now, I am going to head to Bath and Body Works. I won't film on this camera there. I might show some stuff on my phone if I find anything at all. Otherwise, I will just report back to you in the car with if, if I got anything, if I saw anything, all of that. So, um, take it, take it, Jenny. What'd you find? Goodies? You say there's goodies. We need the goodies! <laughs> oh, lighting. The malls did not have anything at the Bath and Body Works. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is, I just got to at home, the other location. So I'm gonna go in. I'm pretty sure they have some stuff at this location that I saw last night. The other one, but I'm hoping to get better footage. If they don't, then I'm just going to insert the footage from last night. I'm so sorry it's going to be in portrait view, but it's something. And we all love a good something <laughs> when it comes to Halloween hunting. So I'll meet you back at home. We will do a little haul of everything I got yesterday at Bath & Body Works, today from Old Time Pottery, potentially at home. Um, and then as well, I don't know if I mentioned it, um, Joann's, I'm also gonna insert footage from what I saw fabric-wise at Joann's. Cause there was a good bit of stuff and that was a few weeks ago. They haven't added anything since because they got a lot in at mine, thankfully. Um, and I'll show you what fabrics I got there as well when we get back home. So I will, Enjoy the footage and I'll see you at home.
Okay, so I'm home. I'm tired. <laughs> but let's do a little bit of a check in chat. Um, as you saw with the at home, I kind of mixed in a little bit of what I saw at today's as well as yesterday. So sorry for changing between video modes there. Um, but I wanted to make sure and give you guys a full comprehensive of everything I've seen. Well, let's just do a little bit of haul of everything I've gotten from all the places we talked about today. So first, I want to start with Bath and Body Works. Okay, so for Bath and Body Works, I didn't get a ton of stuff. Um, I did get a cool friend wallflower. I think I actually got a couple of these because they were on sale if you buy a certain amount. It's so got these plus some other ones I normally get for around the house. Then I got <laughs> this little, um, I think it's pumpkin spice latte, pumpkin spice latte, uh, hmm, sanitizer holder. A pocket back holder. Um, I'm not a pumpkin spice coffee person, but I like pumpkin spice cake and also I love Jack Lantern, so I had to have this one. But that's all I got at Bath and Body Works. I'm hoping they're supposed to be putting out all of their um, fall and Halloween stuff by the 12th of July, so I might try and check in um, once maybe next week or I might just try and wait until the 12th. We'll just kind of see where things lie. So definitely watch next next week's video to see if I go or not. <laughs> For Joann's, I only got two Halloween fabrics. I did get a bunch of other um, velvety fabrics. They had a ton in their um, clearance section. Um, but as far as straight up Halloween fabrics, these are the two I got. This first one I absolutely love is this like mod black and black cat on orange fabric. Um, I have a bunch of like, you can probably see turquoise and turquoise teal and orange are like my two and like olive green are like my main colors in my living room. So I thought these would be fun to make some pillowcases out of, um, or pillow shams, whatever you want to call them. And put those, I might cover the skull ones cause I like them, but they're like lavender, which doesn't at all fit the color scheme. So I'm probably going to cover it with these, this fabric. And then I got this jack-o'-lantern knit jersey fabric. This is in actually the like um, juvenile fabrics for their the pop fabric, if you know that line. Um, this is um, one of those. And I used one last year, it was a star and moon one to make a dress. I'll pop in a picture here of me wearing that. And I loved that fabric. I loved how it, it fit. Um, it was very easy to work with, especially for someone who doesn't normally work with knits, it was very easy. So um, I'm, I'm hoping to either make another dress or maybe try making my hand, try making a skirt. I've never done a skirt very well. <laughs> so I might try my hand to that with this fabric. I will also say stay tuned for some crafting videos. Um, I'm probably going to film the um, pillowcase making video for you guys, just so we can kind of craft together. I can show you how to make them. It's a super easy tutorial, um, even for like beginning sewers. Um, as long as you have a sewing machine, you'll it'll be absolutely fine. You could probably do it by hand, it would just take forever. I don't have that kind of patience. If you do, that'd be great. <laughs> but yeah, definitely stay tuned for that. That should hopefully be coming in the coming, maybe the next two or three weeks. For old time pottery, here's what I got. There's two of these different designs. One, I know it's the gnomes, but like, look at the little, I love the owl. And <laughs> the little jack-o'-lanterns got this creepiest smile. And I love some glittery bats. This one's got black glittery bats. Little frog and another, another little spooky pumpkin. I mean, I don't know. It was just kind of like vintagey looking and I really liked it. And I'm not a big fan of the glitter on it, but they're just super, super eerie and cute. And I love that it had little animals. They're little gnome familiars. And I don't know, I thought it would be really cute to have <laughs> as part of my collection. The other things I got from Old Time Pottery are little pedestal pumpkin things. They do light up. <gasps> they change colors. I didn't know they change colors. I love this so much. Okay, so there's one with this face on it. Oh, sorry, if you have um, epilepsy, uh, maybe look away for like 10, 15 seconds because I don't want to trigger an attack for you. Um, that one, and then let's try 
this other face. It is also colorful. It's not as, as flashy. Okay, it's flashy. Um, but it's a different face. So I got two of this one and one of this one. And I just thought they would be really fun to stagger them on the mantle because they're slightly different heights as well. But I didn't know they were multicolored. That's so happy. Uh, yay. <laughs> All right, and the only other thing I got, which I knew I was going to end up getting at some time this season, <laughs> is the big Jack Lantern. This is from At Home. Um, it just seems pretty well made, and it is like an electric one. It's not battery operated or anything, so I thought it would be a really fun centerpiece on top of a shelf. And since I'm like collecting Jack Lanterns, it seems, I feel like feel like I might do a whole jack lantern thing. I really wanted to do a bat theme, but I'm concerned I might not find enough bat stuff and jack lanterns are very prevalent. So if I find bat, bat stuff, I'll intersperse it with the jack lanterns, but oh, this one's cute. So yay. So yeah, um, that is what I've got for these past few days. I will definitely check in with you guys next week. Please do be sure to like this video, consider subscribing. I would love to have you. Also make sure to hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I put out a new video. Um, and you can also follow me on Instagram at the Enchanted Basem. Um, I try and post little sneak peeks on there before I do these videos. So that's a great place to follow me as well. But yep, all right guys. Uh, thanks so much. I hope everyone is doing wonderful and I will see you in the next video. Bye.